you're about to see four of the rarest sneakers ever made. Now, if you're watching this video in mid-November, it's probably titled in such a way that you don't know what the content of this video is because this video is about a game. I'm not going to talk too much about the game, but ping, there's a link to explain how the game works. If you're interested, click that. There's also a description link down below, so click that too. Uh, but basically what happens is throughout the week, uh, I do these daily drops. Every single day you're getting daily drops from Tokyo Butter 23. Uh, and I do these daily drops and I put a hint in every single video and you put those hints together and try and work out what video is coming on a Sunday because I have a tie up with a guy called Shoe Butter and Shoe Butter has one of the rarest sneaker collections in the world. In fact, bing, there's a link to that uh, collection estimated at $1 million. It's actually been estimated as high as $5 million sneaker collection. Uh, and what happens is every week Shoe Butter sends me some content from his sneaker collection uh, and we try and guess, well you try and guess because I know because I'm making the videos, uh, you try and guess what um, content it's going to be and today's the day when we reveal that for the second time. Now last week it was the incredibly rare Foam Posit Light, and, uh, what was it now, Kryptonite from the 2009 um, uh, dunk contest when he won that. Now what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to tell you the five clues uh, that came out from the week. Uh, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about other stuff and we'll come back to this. But the reason I'm going to do that is because I want you to think about those five clues. And I'll tell you what they are right now. They were uh, 2008, Yeezy as a question. Bear Branding, Jay-Z, and Reebok. They were the five um, the five hints I gave from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then here we are on Sunday trying to work out what those hints point towards. So if you think you know, before I tell you, hit me up with a comment down below and send, uh, try to let me know before I tell you uh, while I'm talking about the other stuff. So that's why I'm going to give you these five hints now that have already come out throughout this week, which were, uh, I've already forgotten what they were, um, 2008. Yeezy as a question, uh, Bear Branding, Jay-Z, Reebok. They were the five hints from the week. So uh, while I'm talking about other stuff, hit me up with a comment down below if you do know what sneaker is coming down the line um, from Shoe Butter later in this video. Uh, but before that, while you're thinking about that and while you're typing your answers, uh, this is a YouTube channel, so please do hit me up with a subscribe as well while you're down below. And also hit that like button, that like button. Uh, if I don't say it, you won't do it, but it's actually extremely important. So hit the like button down below and let me know. Um, um, and uh, and also, as I am here in Tokyo, Japan, I do see at the start of every one of my videos in Japanese, Toroku, Yoroshiku, Onegaishimasu, Ato Shita no Ine o Krik Suru to Tatsukaru no De, Zehi, Toroku ya Ine o Krik Stiku da Sai. Okay, so we're going to get into this sneaker. Hopefully, you've had enough time uh, to work out from those five hints what sneaker it is. Um, and, um, and you've been able to type in a comment down below before I say it. Uh, there, there, I'm sure there have been people throughout the week that have got this right, but because uh, I'm shooting this a few days before, uh, I'm not, uh, I haven't been able to check to see which people have got it right, but I will drop shout outs next week to the people that have managed to get it right. Congratulations if you did. Uh, but what we are looking at today, uh, and if you're watching this video not in mid-November, I've actually named the video this. Um, so I'll name it, you know, um, Shubara Shumatsu game uh, number two, reveal number two for mid-November, but then later Later, I'll change it to, to, to the actual name of the shoe. And what the actual name of the shoe is the Reebok S. Carter Classic Low Yeezy. Um, and I'm not sure about whether it is a Yeezy or not because these are the only um, sneakers that Kanye West made with the Reebok line. And he only made 50 of each. There are four colorways. Hopefully I'm rotating between the four behind me right now. There are four colorways and only uh, 50 of each dropped. And Shoe Butter is going to take us through what he has in his collection for these. And without further ado, I think what we'll do is cut over to him and have a look at the actual sneakers in hand. So over to you, Shoe Butter. All right, so if you guys guessed the Reebok Kanye West, you would absolutely be right. Let me pull out these uh, little gems here. I apologize in advance for the 
coffee stain on the table, but um, yeah, this is the ultra rare um, Reebok Kanye West colorway, whatever shoe this is called. I don't even know. You can see in there, it says Sean Carter Collection. Um, I got this off a guy named Alan Weeby. Um, Alan's a good friend of mine. And I think at one point, the guy from the Shoeseum actually owned the majority of these. I can't remember if there was 10 of each one made or 50 of each one. Um, someone in the comment section could certainly answer that. But uh, in my opinion, it's it's definitely one of the, the rarest. This one for sure is crazy. Um, the rarest, uh, you know, Kanye, Kanye sneaker. Um, obviously, he didn't do anything with Reebok after this, but we all know his history with Nike, and then we all know his history with Adidas after that. A little bit of a stain there of some sort, but all in pretty damn good shape. So I'll take a look around. You got the little emblem on the back. On the tongue, you got Escada. And here you've got S. Carter Collection. Don't know if there's anything under the tongue itself. Let's have a look. I'm sure it probably just says sample made in China. Um, but yeah. Freaking gorgeous shoes. So congratulations, guys, if you were right in guessing this. And we will be back again um, next week. And we'll be dropping hints throughout the week for uh, the shoe that we'll be unveiling next week. So congratulations. Andy's passed it back to me. Thank you very much. Shoe butter. And how was that for you guys to get to see four of the rarest sneakers? And he's got all four of them. I mean, if somebody had one of them, you'd be like, oh, that's pretty cool. But I mean, all four of them. Personally, I like this one here, which is, uh, I call it the red, even though it's not just red. Uh, this is the one that I would go after if I could get my hands on these. But each one of these four sneakers go for many thousands of dollars now. Uh, and to have all four is quite incredible. That bare brand around the heel area there. Uh, early Yeezy sneakers had that on them. Uh, and by early, there are a few earlier sneakers than these um, that came out. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think they were Nike first, then these four Reeboks, then Nike again, and now it's Adidas with the Yeezy 350s, 500s, 700s and all that. Um, and uh, so these Reeboks were just a, a, a moment where he uh, tried out the Reebok line and, and came up with these. It's kind of funny that they look like Adidas in branding on the side in a way. Uh, but those early iterations, these Reeboks and the pre previous to that, the Nikes, uh, a lot of them had that bare branding, which didn't then come in. Uh, I mean, things got really hot around about the, um, the Yeezy. Uh, Red October time, you know, that kind of the, the early Nike stuff and then and now over to Adidas. So so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video, enjoyed seeing Shoe Butter with four of the rarest sneaker, sneakers in the world. If you're watching this significantly after the fact, I hope you appreciate being able to get your eyes on um, a four pairs of the rarest sneakers in the world. Of course, we'll be playing this game again next week, uh, starting on Tuesday, where I'll give you five hints for next week. And then on the Sunday next week, we'll see what Shoe Butter can send us from the shoe department. If you were able to get it right before this video, uh, very, very much congratulations to you to work out which shoe it was going to be. Uh, but if you got it right by watching this video before uh, I told you the answer or before Shoe Butter revealed the shoe, uh, congratulations, well done. Uh, we will be playing this, like I said, again next week shoe butter shoe matsu and try and work out which incredibly rare sneaker we'll be getting our eyes on uh, from the shoe department next week okay for now though it's time for me to sign off and thank you guys for checking out my content i do do this every single day uh, and i recently realized that that's quite a feat there aren't that many youtubers or shoe tubers that do daily drops especially as i also have a full-time job and a young family at home uh, but i still manage to churn out these daily drops and i don't mind doing it because i love sneakers so I hope you appreciate the effort and I hope you appreciate the content. If you do, make sure you hit that like button down below. Like I said, it's tremendously helpful. And subscribe to the channel. Uh, subscribers is the currency by which YouTubers um, deal uh, in growing their channel. So please make sure you've done that. Uh, I hope you appreciate that. I hope I put a link to last week's sneaker. If I didn't, I'll put that link here, which was the... the no, I talked about it, didn't I? The, um, the Kryptonates, but uh, I must have put a link to it there already. So... Uh, uh, but I will put a link to the playlist um, that has uh, butter movement stuff in it 
uh, where you can find these videos uh, and also anything else from uh, the shoe department down south. Okay, it's time for me to sign off. Thank you guys for checking out my content. Looking forward to a whole new week next week and starting this game all over again with another, uh, another of those hints dropping throughout the week before we get to the rarest sneakers in the world on Sunday. For now though, time for me to thank you guys for checking out my content, but because I do this every single day, I get to say at the end of my videos that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow.